Okay, so this is going to be breakfast because I actually realized I'm out of bananas except for these guys here. So I kind of kind of snuck up on me a little bit here. And so this is kind of what I'm uh, reduced to. I obviously did not plan ahead today and I may have to order some salads or something because I don't get off till 5.30. And I don't know, I have a lot of berries, a lot of frozen fruit. So, I don't know, Friday's still a work day, but Friday night is a weekend, so I only have to get, and yeah, I was planning on eating these for breakfast, but I felt like I needed some um, more hydration before I really felt like eating at all. So, yeah, I'm going to drink some orange juice and then I'm gonna eat some oranges like all day. <laughs> I know scales are bad, but we're always, hey, we just stepped on it a second ago and it was 114. <laughs> That's what you gotta love about these old dealies. So yeah, still kind of been around the same poundage this week. Um, actually, I started the week at 117. So I have lost a couple of pounds. Hey guys, so I want to talk to you guys today about um, working out. I'm finally getting back in my exercise routine, getting a, getting another one good down. I, I don't ever, I, every time I try to do an exercise routine video, I change my exercise routine. So I think that's pretty funny, <laughs> but I think it's a good way to go about it. Um, never want to get bored with things. Uh, some people, you know, might need consistency in the same thing all the time, but I got to keep it switched up every once in a while. So I just want to say kind of, I'm really glad that I started working out again because I started to get to be one of those vegans that's just like, well, you know, it's good enough for me and I don't need to really work out. And you know, those, those types of vegans used to bother me before and they still do, but I became one because it's true. You don't have to, but I really encourage everyone who's not working out that much to go ahead and start working out, find something you love. If you're not working out, not only are you going to be healthier, but we need to be as strong as possible as vegans. We need to show the world. We are already proof, you know, that fruit doesn't make you fat and all this stuff. But if, you know, more of us are physically strong looking, you know, it's just more proof. It's just, and, and you're living proof. So you're proof not only on YouTube, not only in your family, but with all your friends, everywhere you go, everybody's going to know the truth by what you do. And so, we all should be striving to be super strong and healthy to just show people that not only can you be skinny on a vegan diet of fruit mostly, but you can also be strong. So keep those bodies moving, guys. Have a great weekend and don't forget to eat your fruit. <laughs> hey, fruity friends, it's Clary Berry here. I'm just hanging out with my friends. We're having a snack. And we are eating some of these lovely oranges. Got a bunch of these and they were super ripe. They're like totally coming away from the skin um, to that point where some of them really, really needed to be eaten. And they're just delicious. So, and these of course are organic. These are from Door to Door Organics. And I'm just picking out the ripest ones. We are diving into them. Like my friend is going for the animal crackers. And I really have not eaten very much at all today. And but I have some really good things planned. And I swear, if if anybody would have told me, you know, oh, you know, five years ago, like, oh, you'd be a raw vegan and you'd be like so happy, this this happy over this food eating it at night, I'd be like, really? <laughs> like, I'm so excited to get to all my food later, to get to my leftover spring rolls. I'm so excited to go out for Thai food later. I just can't hardly even believe it. I just get to sit here. I don't have to sit here and worry about how I'm going to make it till dinner. I mean, this used to be my life. If I was hungry, I would be like, how, 
how do I not eat? How do I get through this afternoon without eating? And then how do I eat so little at dinner? You know, it's, it's a crazy way to live, guys. F that. Live in abundance. Healthy, yummy, delicious food all day as much as you want. Go for it. Why not? <laughs> I just think this is a really great feeling. I think it's a really good idea. It's it's something to look forward to, and I'm really enjoying that. I mean, like the amount of excited that I am to go out to eat with my kids tonight is like really exciting. <laughs> like I'm really excited. And you so also, I want to say that I really prefer eating the whole fruit as opposed to like juicing. Even with oranges, I know it takes a lot to like sit here and eat all of these when you have the, when you're eating the whole pieces. Um, but to me, this is really the only way to do it. Um, I was told a long time ago by a Chinese lady that, um, like, especially with grapefruit too, the white part is actually like one of the healthiest parts. And it's really, really good for you, apparently. So, and like also, that's where all the fiber is. If you're just getting the juice, or even just biting into the side sometime. Well, I guess biting into the side you usually get most of it. But when these are so ripe like this, it's like hard not to just go ahead and break open. Like, why would you need a knife to cut them when they're so ripe? Hey guys, so I just soaked some of these lovely, lovely dates in water, rinsed some of it out, and now I'm gonna chop them up um and make a nice date smoothie to tide me over for another hour or two <laughs> maybe even longer and uh yeah i don't know how many i'm gonna use here but if i have any extra i'm just gonna keep on soaking it because i don't usually soak my dates at all but these dates were just super tough that i because i didn't buy them bulk and have them delivered to my house i bought these at the store where they um leave it sitting out and it's not really all that refrigerated and um so yeah they're really tough only soaked these for like a couple hours, but they're already a lot softer. Can't forget the vanilla if you want it to taste like the holidays. Okay, so I was looking for my big Nalgene bottle, but I couldn't find it. So I'm just going to drink this out of a glass for now. It's going to be so freaking frothy. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to have to get an Instagram pic of this. Oh my gosh, this is just fun. I mean, who wouldn't want to do this? I mean, it's just so good. It's like a cloud dream, a cloud dream. And so, I think I forgot to tell you, it was 10 dates, that's all. Just the rest of it. This will be done, and after this, I will be ready for some Thai food. Okay, so I had to get the jungle curry. Apparently, the other one I had was not, even though I was told that it was not gonna fret about it. This is absolutely amazing. We got extra rice this time. The boys got a special treat. I'm not even gonna show you. <laughs> but this is really delicious. Hey guys, so it's really late, really late for me. It is, what, 10? Oh, 10.49, it's that late already, yeah. Left my friend's house at about 10. I'm such a wish, the, wish, such a wish these days. Gotta get home and go to sleep. Actually, we're all hungry too, even though we ate out. And yeah, I forget that we eat so much more. The boys, you know, taking them out is gonna be expensive for mama, so 